a while back I uploaded a video uh, where I flew uh, Kiss's Idle Up and Air Mode side by side to see if there was a difference between the two, as uh, many people claim there is. Um, and I mean, I didn't believe that there would be. And to my surprise, uh, there was. Just not the differences that people usually claim. Uh, essentially, what I discovered, uh, and I'll put a link uh, to that video in the video description, um, is that when you use the air mode technique, uh, you basically lose kind of a, a portion of the bottom of your throttle. So in the end, you end up with less throttle resolution because part of the stick travel doesn't do anything. I'm going to start by just going over really quick uh, what I mean by that, and it's the reason why I recommend uh, that people use idle up uh, until the KISS devs uh, implement. I mean, there was a firmware by Alex Fedorov that addressed this issue, um, but it was never merged into the main thread, so uh, until then, uh, I, I'm going to continue to recommend that people use idle up instead, because that, at least this way, you won't lose that bottom part of your throttle. So just to show you real quick what I mean by this, so right now this quad is set up with the air mode. Over here in configuration I've got the min throttle at 1060 and I've got min command at 1000. And what you'll see when I arm is that the motors have started to spin at 1060, as you would expect, and I'll slowly bring the throttle up. So right now I'm at 1045 and the motors haven't done anything. They're still at 1060, so there's no change there. I continue going up and only once I pass 1060s, which is 6% throttle, um, do the motors start to react. And if I come back down, once I get under 1060, if you look at the motors in the middle, you'll see that they no longer move for that portion of the stick travel. And it may not seem like much, but you absolutely feel it when you're flying. So that is the main reason why I strongly recommend that uh, people use idle up because then you're getting 100% of your, uh, your throttle travel uh, resolution when you're flying. So now I'll show you how I have idle up set up on the um, my TX, and I won't take credit for this, I'll put a link in the video description. Uh, I based all of this off of Mr. Steele's video, that where he explains how he has uh, idle up set up. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do in the KISS GUI is go and set your min throttle to 1050, and then set your min command to 1055. And we'll go ahead and save that. And now you can switch over to the data output. And in your model, so this model is currently set up with no idle up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the model config. And we're going to head over to the outputs page. So channel one, that's our throttle. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go over to the uh, bottom end of your uh, throttle. And we're going to bring this up until in the GUI. Oh, it's not moving. There you go. It's not moving now. So we're going to bring this up until we get to a value above 1055, which is our min command. So I'm just going to keep going until I'm going to put it at, uh, say, 1058. So that seems... Uh, 1057 there. That'll work. So now my bottom trim is set to minus 86.2. So basically you just want to make sure don't put it directly at 1055 or 1056. I feel like it's just kind of good in case you've got like a little bit of travel at the bottom of your throttle. It's good to set it maybe a little bit higher. So once that's done, you're going to go over to the special functions page. And we're going to go ahead and add a special function. And we're going to set it to a switch. I always have it set up to uh, the SB switch on my uh, remote. <clears throat> so you can just move that. 
and uh, you're going to want it uh, set to the position where your idle up would be off so that you're over you're you're going to override your throttle basically so I'm going to SB into the up position which is when I don't have idle up activated we're going to leave that on override channel one that's already good and here we're going to come and put that all the way to the left minus 100 and we can go ahead and activate that function and now right away you see over in the GUI that uh, throttle is now at 1000. So if I go back out to my main screen, so you'll see that no matter what I do with my throttle, the input received is always at 1000. <clears throat> then if I put my idle up switch into a position where it's no longer overriding the throttle, You'll see now in the GUI that I'm sending 1057 and I get all of that throttle travel. Come back into the off position and we're at 1000. So let's say I arm the quad and you can see the motors are spinning in the middle at 1050 and we don't have any PID loop active. Put the idle up on. Actually, well, real quick, throttle travel does nothing. Idle up on. And now we have the expected result. And you'll notice that as soon as I start to move, oh, hang on. As soon as I start to move my throttle stick, we're getting a response from the quad. If you look at the motors in the middle, as soon as there's movement, so you're not losing that bottom 6%. Okay, so before you go out and fly with your idle up setup, I do need to warn you about a few um, a few things that uh, that that are worth knowing. Um, so I've got my quad plugged in here, I've got my remote, and so when I arm and my idle up is now off, when I arm, motor starts to spin, and you can see I can move the quad and there's no reaction from it so the pid loop isn't active and this can actually kind of be useful um, if you wanted to check you know if your props are are bent or whatnot or which motor is uh, acting up so that's always a nice thing however once i arm my idle up so the quad is then fighting so the pid loop is active at that point uh, it's definitely worth knowing though that if your throttle, I mean, that's the thing is once you're armed, your throttle isn't doing anything, as you can see. It's inactive, it's overridden. Uh, and once the idle up is on, that's when it becomes active. Um, so if your idle up is activated you won't be able to arm your quad because you're technically not sending zero throttle so the quad won't arm so it can al almost serve as a sort of a kind of a safety so like let's say you know you don't want to arm because you're doing something and you're scared that you're gonna you know accidentally arm your quad you could just put your idle up on and your quad won't be able to arm however let's say you arm and you didn't check your throttle and your throttle was 13 percent well as soon as the idle up is on the throttle will kick in to whatever position it's set at at that point so you have to be careful because that can be a problem if you're at 100 percent throttle and you put your idle up on well your quad is basically just going to shoot for the moon um, so I would, per well, personally, that's the only caveat that I see, uh, with using a, an idle up switch. Um, but otherwise I think there are definitely benefits, uh, to using it. I personally didn't notice any difference in the field during flight, except for that kind of dead zone at the bottom of the throttle. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys found this useful. If you've got any questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll do uh, what I can to get you guys sorted out and otherwise happy flying.